they'll leave as winners. That's what's at stake. A winning season in conference, a winning season at home, a winning season overall. And nobody will ever take it away from it. No coach is gonna win this game today. It will be the mentality of the players. That's it. I'm cheering for you. I'll do all that I always do. But today, it's on you. And that's the next step this program needs to take. Not this team, not this team. It's the next step this program needs to take. This is how we operate. This is how we go about our business. This is how we work. And you guys have earned the right to be in this position and you need to fight as if it's your right. That's the next step this program needs to take. And you guys have the opportunity, you guys, to take the step. Because no matter how long we're here, the program will always look back to this day. Because this day, you're in control of it. We're not waiting on no tiebreakers. We're in control of all of it. It couldn't be any better relative to where we started and where we're finishing the last game. And all of you are aware, not one person can do it. If we're going to do it, we will have to do it. Not one guy. It will have to be us. And it will have to be us in the specific recipe that we have followed to even be in this position. If you're willing to be content and settle for what we've done, we're not going to win. If you want to prove who you are as people slash competitors, this is your chance because nobody can ever take it from you, no matter how old you are. Because you can finish as a winner. When you leave and head to the apartment today, we're winners. We're winners. Let's win. This is, uh, this is your identity. What is invisible? Do we play hard? Yes. Do you guys uh, love one another? Yes. Do you guys um, have a spirit of competitiveness? How do you grade that? Can't see it. In my opinion, all of those things, and we could keep talking about all of those things, they're invisible. How do you think we were voted 12th? Or why do you think we were voted 12th? Because previous year. Okay, previous year. New Tell coach. me some more. New, New coach. coach. New coach. Tell me some more. Five, Five returning guys. guys. Five returning guys. That had a losing record. That had a losing record. Say it one more time. That's what we were last year. You finished 12th last year. Those things that you just mentioned were those are, are those were those facts. Yeah. Weren't those things visible? Yeah. But all the things that we just talked about before that, those are invisible. You guys understand the difference, right? Yeah. And so what is invisible is often the most valuable. That's why Nebo. Nobody, Chuck, French, nobody can ever take away that you guys won 10 conference games. Nobody. <clears throat> but you did it because of what's invisible. Not because of what's visible. You guys get that? So I don't know what's <coughs> going to happen in Nashville, and we can talk about it on Monday. But what you guys have accomplished, you've earned every bit of it. Because I haven't given you anything. But you've earned it because of what's invisible. And that should scar your heart. It has scarred my heart in a good way. Because sometimes what's invisible, you can't say it. You can't articulate it. You say, I don't know, it's take a charge, it's dive on the floor, it's, 
give dap, it's uh, play hard, it's all of these things that you can't quantify. In other words, you can't give a number to it. But that's why we want. And that will be the same when you're my age, whatever it is you're doing. When the game is over for you guys, when you can't play anymore, you're still gonna live 50 more years. And what's invisible when you're not playing is just as important as when you are playing. And if the right things are invisible, they'll overcome what is visible.